Lakini huyu Kristo mwingine ambaye ataona magonjwa na kuyaona sio shida kwake atakuwa na ile furaha. But this Christian has negative thinking as he said God is like me. all day long he is frowning he is crying. Lakini huyu Kristo ambaye anaendelea kuona magonjwa ni sababu ya kumkasirisha anaishi maisha ya kuhuzunika. So I want to say our thinking affects our feeling. Wewe ndio unasema lile unawaza katika moyo wako inakudhuru maisha yako. If you say nobody likes me then we will be unhappy. Wow, ukiwaza tu hakuna mtu hapa duniani mkuu anayenipenda basi wewe utaishi maisha ya kujidharau. But if every day we say whatever I do for God God is very happy. Lakini kila siku tunaposema ya kwamba chochote nafanyia Mungu, Mungu wako na furaha. You know, you can think of God, he's very wise. Kwa hiyo unaweza kumfikiria Mungu unajua ana mawazo mazuri. He is also almighty. Yeye ni Mungu mkuu. But he's very simple like a little child. Lakini yeye ni Mungu amejishusha chini kama mtoto mjanga. Whenever we do anything good for him, tunapomfanyia kitu kizuri He will be laughing. Ha 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 ha. Atakuwa na cheka, atakuwa na cheka. God, you know the Bible says in Zephaniah 3:17. Katika Zephaniah 3:17 that he rejoices over us with singing. Furahia katika uimaji. God is very simple. Ah, Mungu ni ni rahisi sana ame ni mwepesi ni amejishusha. You look at little children, little children can get happy easily. Easily. Una ona watoto wachanga hawa hawa kasiriki wakati unawachapa. Wana fry to be wapaya kuchapa. When we grow up, we have so many negative thinking it's hard for us to be happy. Ndio tunapokuwa watu wazima sasa tunakuwa na chuki katika mawazo yetu. And sometimes people see me laughing ha ha. First Lord they say you're, they, they, in the heart you say you're crazy. Kwa hiyo watu wakiona Some people think pastors should be like this. Watu wengine wanafikiria yani wachungaji wengi wanataka akae ni kama kwamba yeye ni simba amenuna sana. Sura ya kazi. Sura ya Yaone wewe ni mtakatifu. Unjali hapa. But God is very simple like a little child. Ah, Mungu hawezi kumuelewa anakuja kwa njia yote. In his heart is always hope. Katika Mungu moyoni mwake kuna tumaini. Always good things happening. Ah, mambo mazuri yanafanyika. And whoever loves him he will bless. Na yote anayempenda yeye anambariki. Whoever does things for him he is very happy. Whoever does good things for God. Yote anayefanya kitu kizuri Mungu anakuwa na furaha. So in our concept if we think of God as being very happy, leo katika hali yetu isiye tukijua kwamba Mungu wako na furaha na sisi because in Matthew 25 katika Mathayo 25 the master said to the good servant na um, uh, eh tajiri tajiri okay tajiri akaongea na mtumishi wake come in to enjoy the happiness of your master ingia ufurahie furaha ya pamoja na mkuu wako na mkuu wako most master in the world are like this lakini matajiri mengi huwa wana uzuni. God, God being a good master, lakini Mungu akiwa tajiri mzuri, is happy and peaceful. Ah, na furaha na na amani. He is full of love. Ah, mjao upendo. So the more we know the goodness of God, na tunapojua sana yani ule uzuri wa Mungu. And we are filled with the goodness of God. Na tumejazwa na ule uzuri wa Mungu. And get rid of the negative thinking of people and ourselves. Na kuondoa ile hisia uh, mbaya ndani mwetu. And I can choose to have positive thinking. Na niwe na nia zilizo nzuri. And I can choose to have positive feelings. Na naweza kuwa na hisia ambazo ni nzuri. Now I want to say this it's easier to change our thinking than to change our feeling. Okay, ni rahisi sana kubadilisha mafikiria yako 
na ni ngumu kubadilisha zile hisia. Okay, I'll use an example. Someone says something negative to you. Kwa mfano mtu anazungumza kinyume chako. Now it could be your husband, your wife. Naweza kuwa mume wako au mke wako. He said, I'm very unhappy today. Anasema ah mama mimi nimekasirika. You're very unhappy. Mimi nimekasirika sana umenifanya kukasirika. And then we discern the situation. Na utaangalia hali and we say well he's always full of the bad things in his heart. Bad things in his heart. Tutamwangalia na utaangalia tu naonelewa ah mkofu wangu unanyang'a ina mabaraka kesho na manaita. So he's always thinking of negative things. Ya kwa sababu ya ya ila parashi. So he always talk negatively. Na na binyanga paranga maparambi. So I don't have to take those words. Dano isho mama la kula mama kum kofa para mabika yeta na rama le. Na kwa rejoice the Lord. No chako huima hoti yimo tena sain. That is our thinking. Na la rolo upara. We can manage the thinking quickly. Na weza kubalisha mawazo yetu haraka. But the feeling is harder. Na kile hisi ya nimbum. We try to rejoice. Na yari bo kufrai. We still feel heavy. Tunapata kuna uzito mkubwa. And in the middle of the night when we wake up. Ah, uh, na katika katikati ya usiku masiku ya manane. We might feel pressure in the heart. Na unasikia kule kufinyiliwa katika moyo wako. Has this happened to you? Yeah. Je, hilo linatendeka katika maisha yako? You wake up. Oh, so ah, umuhana, umbiruku kuyuru later. And then you say it's hard to change my feelings. Ai, na wala ai no tiza na ila lenya na kunyoloko ye. So I'll tell you how to change the feelings. Taka ni kuelezea vile unaweza kubadilisha hali zako. First change the thinking. Ya kwanza ubadilishe kuwaza kwako. Even though he yells at me. Hata kama amenisumzia vibaya. God still loves me. Mungu ananipenda. And I pray to God. Na naomba kwa Mungu. God is very happy. Ah Mungu anafurahia. So the thinking I'm important. Kwa hivyo kufikiria yako na muhimu sana. I'm precious in the sight of God. Niko upande wa mimi ni wadamana sana upande wa Mungu. And then we can count the blessings of God. Na nabeba baraka za Mungu. God is giving me food and what I need. Ha Mungu ananipenda na nipa chakula na kila kitu ninachohitaji. So I can thank God. Na kwa hivyo unaanza unaanza kushukuru Mungu. Thank God I have food and water today. Ah uh, shukuru Mungu kwa sababu kuna chakula. Mimi mpraonya za yule mnaelewa Thank God I Jesus. Thank God I Jesus. Ah uh, shukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya Yesu. Na kupewa Yesu maovu kwa wangu. Thank God the Holy Spirit is working in my heart. Oh upraonya za yule mnaoshikila Roho Mtakatifu wala alimoe Mungu. And when I praise him I have more joy. Na wakati ninapompatia utukufu na msifu ninakuwa na furaha. Thank God I can get the joy from the Lord. Na shukuru Mungu kwa sababu naweza pata furaha kutoka kwa Bwana. So I can choose to laugh. Na naweza kuamua kupenda na kucheka. Na we can choose to laugh even when things are bad we can say ha ha ha. Tunaweza kuamua kucheka hata kama mama na baba. God is helping me. Ah Mungu ananisaidia. Especially if you have the joy of the Lord. Unapokuwa na You have more joy. Unakuwa na furaha nyingi. Okay? But then in the middle of the night you might have this unhappiness come to you again. Lakini usiku wa manane unaweza kuwa tena una huzuni. But because the negative emotions don't go away right away. Na unjua yale mawazo mabaya hayatoki tu haraka. But usually when we wake up in the morning, lakini unapoamka asubuhi, we feel a little better. Na isikia vizuri. And then you jump and dance and praise. Na unaruka na unaanza kusifu kwa. I forget about yesterday. Na unasahau ya jana. Rejoice in the Lord. Ah, furahia ndani ya Bwana. After you praise God, you feel better. Ah, unapomsifu Bwana unasikia vizuri. And you say, I'm improving. Na utasema hakika kuna kubadilika. And God has Give me this teaching. Na Mungu amenipa haya mafundisho. If we can improve 1% a day, 100 days we are 100 improve 100% improvements. Ikiwa tu unaweza kubadilika nukta moja kwa mia, unjua unaweza kubadilika mia kwa mia. So if I have improved just 1% a day, as time goes on, I'll be totally recovered. Ikiwa tu unabadilika kwa nukta moja kwa mia, ukiendelea kufurahi kufurahi itakuwa 100. So look at the positive changes we have. 
na uh, angalia hali ya kuwaza vizuri ile tuliyonayo and don't look at i still have some unhappiness don't look at that ona ndo kumabika mbele nyuma kadia tao but look at the positive side and i should not know where so we are i'm improving now it's all na noka no hana i'm happier today ah and no beyond nyanga ino i can choose to be happy and ya no go go amo bwana no beyond say god i'm improving ah prayers are you know that you are going to lay and then i choose happiness na am am bwana no be here with us this is something amo beyond this is something we need to practice Hili ni jambo ambalo tunahitaji kuenda katika mazoezi. Now yesterday we talk about the five steps of victory. Na jana tusungumzia hatua tano za ushindi. You can apply to negative thinking and negative feelings. Unaweza kuyatumia katika hali ya kujikana na unaleta sasa inakuwa hali ya kujipenda. Do you remember first point? Nakumbuka ya kwanza aware that I'm unhappy. Wewe unafahamu ya kwamba haufurahi. Or where I have negative thinking. Wewe una una wa, unaelewa ya kwamba una wazo ambalo ni kinyume. Number two is destructive. Ya pili ni ule uharibifu. It's destructive to be unhappy. Ni uharibifu usipokuwa na furaha ndugu yangu. It's destructive to think I'm no good. Ni uharibifu kuwaza hakuna mtu hakuja mama msialama. And number three what does the Bible say? Na kitu cha tatu nini Biblia inasema? The Bible says rejoice in the Lord always and again I say we tell us na furai ndani ya Bwana na tena furai na tena furai kila siku. And the Bible says that God in all things God can help us. Na Biblia inasema katika kila kitu Mungu anaweza kukusaidia. And number four, pray to for forgiveness and have strength. Na ine omba ili usamehewe na utiwe nguvu. And number five, we choose positive thinking and positive feeling. Yeah, so it's the same for handling sins and handling negative thinking or negative emotions. Hizo ndizo hatua za kupiga ili unakataa mawazo yaliyo kinyume na unachukua mawazo ambayo ni mazuri. Now I want to say that many people have negative subconscious mind. Tao kusungumzia watu wengi wana mawazo kinyume ya kufurahi. What does that mean? Hiyo inamaanisha nini? Because since childhood people have been yelling at us at us. Oh, maelewa hivi blango mwana ni mchapo huyu mwana mchapo mwana. People kept saying we are ugly. Wandu wati robola ukunduku na kubika takuwa maisura inaita. People kept saying we are useless. And these sings into our hearts. That we think nobody likes us. I use an illustration. In my church before we, we were just using the a location, the church building of another church. Eh, And one Sunday morning we were preparing for worship. And there was a chair left up here. And I, I told the members. If you see a chair here, please take it down. There was a teenager girl who said to me. She said, Pastor, I did not put it up there. Now I never said who put it up there. I just said, next time you see it, take it down. But this girl grew up in a family whenever anything wrong the parents would say you did it wrong. Oh, huyu dada alikuwa katika jamii ambayo wazazi wake angefanya kitu kibaya wangeendelea kumwambia wewe umefanya kitu kibaya. So when I said take the chair down She would think I was accusing her. I, you know, there are other people present, but okay. she was thinking I was accusing her. Na kwa sababu ni mazoea ya kuwa kuwa wazazi walikuwa wamemzoesha kumwazia vibaya. Alifikiria wakati anaambiwa chukua kiti toa pale ya kwamba huyu anamdhulumu wewe ndio umeweka pale kiti. That was a 
subconscious mind of accusation. Hiyo ilikuwa yani msisimko ambao ulikuwa ndani mwake wa kinyume ambaye aliwaza aliwaza yeye. She is just thinking deep in her heart. Anything wrong is her fault. Yeye amekuwa akiwaza katika moyo wake ya kwamba kitu chochote kikitendeka kibaya yeye ndiye atakayelaumiwa. Do you have that subconscious condition to for instance your spouse says something the spouse is not complaining to you and then your spouse says we need to wash the dishes cleaner and then immediately we say, you are accusing me. Now, we told like, hey, Let me ask you, have you been affected like that too? We have to change that subconscious mind. How do we change it? There are a few teachings that will help us. First, even if I did something wrong, it is not a reason to die. It's not. Okay. We don't want to die from that. All right. Number one, you are not allowed to die from that. You are not allowed to die from that. You are even when we do something bad, it's not very, very. It's not super serious. But we just repent, repent and ask God to forgive us. And help us to change. That is okay. We don't have to feel bad all the time because we don't have we can understand But I want to say this subconscious problems are very deep in our hearts. How can we correct it? Whenever it shows up, then we take care of it. Whenever we feel unhappy, we say, why do I feel unhappy? Whenever we feel bad ourselves, we ask ourselves, why do we feel bad about ourselves? And then we change the way we think. And we praise God to have the joy of the Lord. And every day, gradually, our subconscious mind will be changed. Let me share with you. Let me share with you one of my problems. Since my childhood, because my family never had been yelling at me, my father had a divorce and then married again. Now my father gambled a lot and then and then when my stepmother came, my stepmother also he, she gets angry easily. And then my stepmother yells at us. I started to have bad dreams. 
Na kaanza kuwa na ndoto mbaya. I also walked in my dreams. Na pia akatembea, yaani uko nanga na uchelanga. Akawa anatembea katika ndoto. You know bad dreams is an indication of unhealthy subconscious mind. Kwa hiyo ndoto mbaya ni hali ile tena ya kukudunisha kiafya. And I found that I have fear in my heart. Na akakuta ya kwamba ana uoga katika moyo wake. Years later in my ministry too, people accused me ndio miaka ingine iliyopita katika huduma watu walimshtaki ama ya walimshtaki I found that I'm pressing my heart akakuta ya kwamba anahukumika katika moyo wake Sometimes when I'm washing dishes I just feel fear or pressure Na usafi ndio yosi yesani na ulana umri When I was aware of that I said this is something bad destructive I have to take care of it na alipoanza kuwaza mawazo kama ile akaanza kuona haya ni mawazo mabaya na akaanza kuwaza vizuri. And then I remember the Bible verse in 1 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 2. Wa Korinto wa kwanza mlango wa tatu eh wa, wa nne mstari wa pili. What is required of a steward is that he is faithful. Eh kile kinahitajika kwa mhudumu wa Bwana awe mwaminifu. I've been faithful to serve God. Nimekuwa mwaminifu kwa kumtumikia Mungu. So God is happy with me. Mungu hapo na furaha na mimi. I don't have to fear. Sitaki niogope. I don't have to have pressure. Sitaki kuwa na yani wazo ambalo si ndio nzuri. But I notice that this fear doesn't go away right away. Na akapata ya kwamba hii uoga haumtoki hivyo haraka. But I keep praising God. Lakini anaendelea kumsifu Bwana. God is happy with me. Mungu hapo na furaha na mimi. God cares about me. Mungu ananipenda. And God is happy that I really serve him. E, Mungu anafurahi kwa sababu namtumikia. And God is happy with what I do. Na Mungu hapo na furaha na kile anachofanya. I don't want to feel fear. Sitaki niwe na ile uoga. I rejoice. Na ikaje kufurahi. Ha ha ha. And gradually, ana kwa pole pole. The fear goes away. But it took a long time. And I want to say that to remove some of our subconscious mind emotions is difficult. But whenever you improve a little bit, I found that I was happier. Anasema kwamba alikuwa na furaha sana. And then I said you have done a good job. Na anasema kwamba umefanya kazi nzuri. You are improving. Au unafanya vizuri ni masaa. So I always appreciate myself. Oh kila wakati kikupali wewe mwenyewe kile kitu unafanya. Ah na unaendelea kuwa na furaha. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you. Wacha niwaambie. This is something you have to work on consciously all the time. Ile kitu ambacho unahitajika uwe unahusi yani kulinda moyo wako kila wakati. This is one way Satan attacks us. Hiyo ndiyo shetani anatupiga vita. Some people think of Satan's attack is always, you know, like evil spirit. Watu wengine wanafikiria yani shetani kutupiga ni yale mapepo lakini ni hali yako ile unawawaza ndani mwako ndio shetani anakupiga vita. Now negative thinking and emotions are also attacks. Hali hizo zote tunazowaza kinyume hizo ndizo yaani mishale ya shetani. But you hold on the shield of faith to block the darts the fiery darts of Satan. Na ni vizuri uwe na ile imani ya kupiga vita ile mawazo mabaya ya shetani. You say I'm important in God. When I love God, God is happy with me. Na kumpenda Mungu, Mungu anakuwa na furaha na mimi. We do it consciously every day. Unakuwa hiyo kila siku. And then it will change. Na tutabadilika. Okay? Now, do you have any questions? Because Yeah, kuna swali. It's not hard to understand. Sio ngumu kuelewa. Be filled with the promises of God. Jazwa na ahadi za Mungu. A positive thinking and emotions from God. Wazo mazuri ni mawazo ambayo yanatoka kwa Mungu. We go for the garbage from people and ourselves. Kwa uchafu wote. Whenever any negative thing come up, replace it with positive thinking and emotions. Wakati mawazo mabaya yanataka kutokea, wazo mawazo mazuri. So very simple, don't eat garbage. Wacha uchafu. Eat the good things from God and from godly people. Kula vitu vizuri kutoka kwa Mungu. Okay? Now, but to apply is not easy. Lakini ili uiwe katika matendo sio jambo rahisi. 
And it's like yesterday. To handle our sins is not easy to. Na vile tulijifundisha jana jinsi ya kushinda dhambi si ndio jambo tu rahisi. Okay, now if you have questions about this you can ask now so I can answer you how to handle it. Kwa hivyo unapoa ikiwa una swali unaweza kuuliza sasa ili tuweze kukujibu. The point is, can you do it? Can you apply it? Swali ni kwamba je, unaweza kurekebika? I want to say that don't say yes so quickly. It's a habit that needs time to build up. And when we're at the lunchtime, you notice that even when having lunch, sometimes you have thought, oh, uh, just something we don't like. Okay, wakati chakula cha mchana hiki. Kuna hali nyingine unaona tu inakukasirisha. Sasa hii ni nini inafanyika hii? And then when you go home you are more negative thinking uh, of you. Ah, hizo ndano mwangu kusimisha. Kwa hivyo mbona baba shule mbona baba shule shitini. Sasa ile ndani kata shule na shaa kula. Ndano kata baba rera mwenye ndio ndio mwaita. pole sana. Pole tafadhali. And for myself, and for myself I want to keep myself in positive thinking and emotions all day long feel with the joy of the Lord. Kwa hiyo katika upande wake ama pia nakwambia kwamba ni vizuri uwe katika hali ya kukubali hali yoyote ambayo iko karibu na wewe uibadilishe kuwa nzuri. Mwenye shishilai mwende kasi. So I can enjoy life and enjoy ministry. Ili ufurahie maisha na pia ufurahie huduma. Oh, any questions? <laughs> The real situation. <laughs> Maybe you have some real problems in your family. You would say, How can I be happy in such a family? <laughs> We're happy not because of the bad people. Uh, we're happy because we have God to help us in the midst of the bad people. Okay, now if you don't have a question, we'll pray and then, you know, if it's time for lunch and we have lunch, if not, we'll still have, because today is the last day for the members, Monday will be for the pastors. Okay, wajikoni tafadhali wasigianene na ndugu Poli hapa kwa sababu nataka kuelewa kama chakula kiko tayari kwa kuwapendwa kule ama tuendelee na mafundisho. And I'm going away too. This afternoon I'm going to Pia mfahamu ya kwamba nyanga ina hapo hao. Mama yuko ameroka danoni huko. Nashi kutia mwashira hapo mshinda huko patinga nyakana. Ana ni mwashi. Hakuna huko video ya hilo. Let me ask you here, if you don't mind. How many people here, most of the days you are not happy? I hope you don't mind bringing me. Okay, I'm sure there are many people like that, but you just Nico Nakika and Yai would be like Shika Latina. I want to win the Kamaha. This one there. Okay. Are you going to have? Do you want to say, do you want to say your situation and so we can help anyone want to say? Yeah, no, I'm sorry. So if you want to say the question, you're going to respond. Not testimony. To ask questions. Ask questions. I want to ask this. 
Maybe whenever I do something wrong, I always feel guilty about myself. And I see I, I cannot even go before the Lord. Yeah, yeah, how can I be helped? And the last two sentences. The last two sentences. He says, eh, when he's always guilty, when he does something wrong. Yes, yes, and then, yes, and then he feels that. guilty. Guilty. He does it, right? Okay. How can now, he be helped? Guilt is very common. Guilt is very common. Guilt. Feeling guilty, that's guilt. Okay. Now it's guilt. And now it's guilt. That we all have done things that are wrong. The Bible, you know, the Bible God says, He knows that we are sinners. I have done many things wrong too. I have done many things wrong too. If we try to comfort ourselves, we can never do it. If we try to comfort ourselves, we can never do it. But the Bible says if we confess our sins, God is faithful and just. To God, but the Bible says if we confess our sins, God is faithful and just. To God, but the Bible says if we confess our sins, God is faithful and just. To God, but the Bible says if we confess our sins, God is faithful and just. To God, but the Bible says if we confess our sins, God is faithful and just. To God, but the Bible says if we confess our sins, God is faithful and just. To God, but the Bible says if we confess our sins, God is faithful Ah, sisi tukiwa tunakumbwa na dhambi yoyote, hebu tumueleze Mungu. Sisi tumekuwa na makosa, tunatubu, tusamehe. I need you to forgive me. Na itazi wewe unisamehe. And God is very happy to forgive us. Na Mungu anafurahi sana anapotusamehe. If we have sinned against someone, kama tumekosea yote, well, then we say sorry. Na tunasema polea. The sooner we can put down the guilt. Wakati tunaweka tu shinda zetu. And say God is very happy when we repent. Na tunajua kwamba Mungu anafurahi tunapotubu. And then we have the strength to stand up again. Bas tuna nguvu ya kuamka tena. So our strength doesn't come from ourselves. So nguvu hasitokana na sisi wenyewe zatokana na Mungu. Even when we done something very very bad. Hata kama tumefanya jambo mbaya mbaya sana. The only thing we can do is repent and ask God to forgive us. Jambo ambalo tunaweza kufanya tu ni kutubu alafu tunarejelea Mungu. And believe that God really forgives us. Unaamini kwamba kweli Mungu anasamehe. Now forgiveness is like I use an illustration. The promises of God is like the light switch. When you turn on the light switch, does the light say, well, today let me think, should I turn on for you? Every time you turn on the light, unless if there's no electricity, the light will come on. Aha, ukiubegeza tu hiyo hiyo switch mara moja kama moto iko ile moto inakuja tu mara moja. So God follow his rules. Mungu anafuata maagizo yake. When ever someone sincerely repents. Kama kuna mtu ambaye anatubu kwa moyo mweupe. He will surely forgive. Hakika yeye atasamehe. So I encourage you. Na kutia moyo. I have sinned too. Ata mimi nimekosea. Everyone has sinned too. Kila mmoja amekosea. So we can only have the Forgiveness of God. And then we say, now I move forward. God is very happy. Ah, we never say God is very happy. We say, but now we change the song. 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 Alafu kwa nyumba mnazozana na mume. And in the house there is a quarrel between him and the husband and the husband. Inabidi uende ufanye hiyo kazi. Sasa unaweza pia mtu mwingine ama unafanya. And he is forced to do the duties in the church. What can she do? Can she proceed doing those duties in the church or she forfeits the same? And you mean that she has quarrels with the husband in the church or in the home? In the home. Okay. Mm -hmm. I want to say this um that quarrels are sometimes unavoidable. Anataka kusema hivi, ile kugombana mara nyingi hayuzuiliki unapokaa pamoja. But if you listen to my teaching yesterday, when people yell at us, 
We don't have to eat the garbage. Aha. Kama ulisikiza kimakinifu sana mafundisho yetu ya jana, kama watu wanatupigia kelele, hatuhitaji pia sisi tuwapigie kelele. And I understand that inside him he has a lot of evil things. Uh, na unapoelewa kwamba ndani mwake kuna mambo machafu yaliyo ndani mwake yamemjaa. If I have done something wrong, I'll ask God and ask him to forgive me. Kama nimefanya kitu kibaya, nitamuuliza yeye na nijiulize mimi ili tuweze kusameheana. But if I have done nothing wrong and he yells at me, we need to turn we need to say It doesn't matter what he says. Aha. Kama mimi sijafanya dhambi na yeye ndiye mwenye makosa, nitajiambia mwenyewe hamna haja ya mimi kufanya lolote baya maana hii mzigo ni wake. In order to stay happy is very important to turn off the negative words from people. Na ni vizuri sana kuwa na moyo wa furaha maana utajua jinsi ya kukabiliana na hali katika maisha yako. And then you turn around and rejoice in the Lord. Na piluka na kufurahi katika Bwana. And you say God is very happy when I trust in him. Na unasema oh Mungu anakuwa mzuri kwangu ninapomgeukia. God is very happy when I'm not affected by my husband. Mungu anafuraha kama mwanamume mume wangu hajaniadhiri maisha yangu ya kiroho. When I rejoice in the Lord God is very happy. Na furahi katika Bwana maana yeye ni wa furaha na anafuraha kwangu. And then you have joy and strength. Na unakuwa na furaha na nguvu and then you can serve God na unaweza kutumika kwa Mungu but every day you are burdened kama kila siku umebebeshwa mizigo you are suffering unaumia then it's very hard to serve God inakuwa ni ngumu sana kutumika so the best is to turn off the negative words from your husband Jambo nzuri ni kukataa yale mambo mazito yanayotoka kwa mume wako At the same time be nice to him as much as we can. tena ni vizuri uwe mzuri kwake kwa ajili ya huduma. Even if he doesn't change you change we change ourselves. Hata kama yeye habadiliki wewe badilika na uendelee na kazi yako. And we can say God has given me many good things. Ana unaweza kusema kwamba Mungu amenipa mambo mazuri zaidi. And even when you count the good things of your husband you will see he has good things too. Aha, unapaza pia kuhesabu mambo mazuri mume wako ametenda. Unaweza kuhesabu tena mambo mengi tu. And then you have more reasons to be happy. Na tena utakuwa na sababu mingi ya kuwa na furaha. So if you have strength you can serve God. Ukiwa na nguvu unaweza kutumika. If you are very very depressed ukiwa umefinyiliwa sana it's hard to ni, serve God. ni ngumu kutumika and i suggest the best thing is to na ninakupa ushauri huu jambo mzuri la kufanya turn off the garbage hebu toa mambo mabaya machafu and, and every day say god loves me na kila siku sema mungu ananipenda mungu ananipenda when i trust in god god is very happy and in love with the bwana bwana yeye anafurahia na kutukula can you do this now can we all do this now tunaweza kufanya hivyo sasa sisi wote leo when i reach when i trust in god na kuamini kwa mungu God is laughing like that. When I pray to him, when I pray to him, God is very happy. Mungu anafurahia zaidi. And he bless me. Na nanibariki. Can we believe God like that? Tunaweza amini Mungu namna hiyo? Because God is not man. Kwa sababu Mungu si mwanadamu. Men get angry easily. Wanadamu wanakasirika kwa haraka. God always wants to bless. Mungu kila saa anataka kubariki. Okay, any other? Now, please ask questions related to talk, what we talk about. Ah, hebu uliza swali linalo lingana na mafundisho ambayo Okay. Kwa huru, zo, zo. Ah, kama pengine hamna maswali mengine, unaweza kuturuhusu sasa tuingie katika kipindi cha maombi. Okay, please stand up for prayer. Yes, this one keep and this one turn off turn off this it's already off yeah this one turn off yes okay let us all stand up tunaomba tuamke wote sasa and think of the negative thinking and emotions in our hearts fikiria jinsi mambo ya udhaifu yanakupanda na wewe na yanakumbana na akili zako na unashtukia umeyatenda If some people here are thinking my life has no purpose. Ana kama kuna watu wanafikiri 
kusikia kwamba maisha yangu wakati huu sasa yamekosa malengo. We will place it with the promise of God. Tunaibadilisha na ahadi za Mungu. The God is a wonderful plan in our life. Kwa Mungu ana mpango mzuri kwa maisha yako. So any areas that we have problem katika sehemu yote ambapo kuna shida we bring it to God tunaileta kwa Mungu to change to abadilish the way we think and the way we feel abadilisha mawazo yetu na jinsi tunavyohisi if every day we have been unhappy kama kila siku tutakuwa watu kukosa furaha we think of the promises of God tunafikiria jinsi ya hali za Mungu vile zilivyo and rejoice in the Lord tufurahi katika Bwana Oh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Relax and come. Please Please help us to realize Mungu tusaidie tuelewe. This negative thinking and emotions are sins. Kwamba udhaifu wetu umegeuka kuwa ni dhambi. And they can destroy our life. Na inaweza kuharibu maisha yetu. And I want to choose to believe in Jesus. Nataka kuamua kuamini kwa Yesu. Jesus loves me now. Yesu ananipenda sasa. Kuna haya mambo ambayo mtarudia nyuma yangu. God loves me now. God has a wonderful plan in my life. Mungu ana mpango mzuri kwa maisha yangu. God wants to do great things in my life. Mungu anataka kufanya vitu vikubwa kwa maisha yangu. When I repent, God is very happy to forgive me. Ninapotubu, Mungu anafuraha. When I pray to Jesus, God is very happy. Ninapomba kwa Yesu, Mungu anafurahia. Ninapomba kwa Yesu, Mungu anafurahia. When I serve God sincerely, God is very happy. Ninapohudumu kwa wazi, Mungu anafurahia. Ninapohudumu kwa wazi, Mungu anafurahia. It is not hard to please God. Si ngumu kumpendeza Mungu. I can rejoice in the Lord. Naweza kufurahi katika Bwana. Naweza kufurahi katika Bwana. Because God likes me. Kwa sababu Mungu amenipenda. I can rejoice in the Lord. Naweza kufurahi katika Bwana. Naweza kufurahi katika Bwana. Because I hope in Jesus. Sababu ninatumaini kwa Yesu. I can put down my negative thinking now. Naweza kuweka chini udhaifu wangu. Naweza kuweka chini udhaifu wangu. I can put down my sadness now. Naweza kuweka chini mawazo yangu mabaya. Naweza kuweka chini mawazo yangu mabaya. I can put down my anger now. Naweza kuweka chini hasira yangu. Naweza kuweka chini hasira yangu. I can put down the thought that I'm useless. Naweza kuweka chini mawazo kwamba sifai. I can think of the promises of God. Naweza kufikiria ahadi za Mungu. Naweza kufikiria ahadi. And rejoice in the Lord. Na kufurahi katika Bwana. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. I can rejoice in the Lord. Naweza kufurahi katika Bwana. I can relax in the Lord. Naweza kuwa huru kwa Bwana. I can enjoy God. Naweza kufurahi kwa Bwana. Every day I can be happy. Kila siku naweza kuwa na furaha. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 So I hope every day you manage your negative emotions and thinking. Na imani kila siku utakuwa unatawala mawazo ambayo walikuwa yanakufinyilia chini. Choose to be happy in the Lord. Na uamue kuwa na raha katika Bwana. Is there someone here you find it still very hard to be happy in the Lord? Tangu tuanze kufundisha kuna mtu yote sasa anahisi kwamba hana furaha tena katika kazi ya Mungu na kuhudumu. 
you can come up and ask me if you find it is hard to overcome the sadness. Okay, God bless you. Thank you.